Hi, I'm Kim Martin Raymond, and I'm host of the How Now podcast, where we talk about how to live in the now. And I am sharing with you all a new journey that I'm embarking on today. Today is September 6th, 2021, and it is the first day that I am embarking on the Optavia Weight Loss System Program. And uh, I decided to share this with you all. I want you all to come on this journey with me because I think that it's important for people to see, you know, the authenticity, to see the transparency that takes place when you're embarking on a weight loss program or a wellness program. And for me, that's what it's about. It's about wellness. I just really got to a point where I was not feeling well over these last couple of months. And I know that it had to do with my eating. I know that it had to do with the eating habits that I had. Um, last year in May, I, I turned 50 and I was excited about getting under 200 pounds because I hadn't been under 200 pounds since I was 17 years old. And I accomplished that goal. I had gotten 299 pounds. I was feeling good. I was I had a lot of energy. And uh, it was just really good to see that I was capable of accomplishing a goal that I set for myself. And then, of course, you know, the pandemic hit. Things started shutting down. I wasn't able to go to my exercise classes that I had scheduled uh, twice a week. Uh, I had been... Um, in the beginning stages of spinal stenosis and started having uh, difficulty with pains in my legs and not being able to run walk on the treadmill like I was doing um, on a daily basis. And uh, my activity level came almost to a grinding halt. I got promoted at work, had to do a lot of uh, Zoom conferences and calls and trainings and spent a lot of time sitting in front of a computer for several hours a day. And so all of the activity, all the things that I was doing, those things came to a halt. And then, you know, being limited and being able to go out and or to purchase food the way I was doing prior to the pandemic led to me finding more convenient things to eat, more fast food. Uh, I stopped drinking water like I was drinking. I was drinking a gallon of water a day. I started back to drinking soft drinks and everything because I think a lot of it was stress eating as well because, you know, you're dealing with the pandemic and, and you know, you're thinking about how to navigate in the space that you're in. And then what winds up happening is you're navigating that space and, and you're like, okay, I have enough to think about. The last thing I wanted to think about was how I was going to exercise, how I was going to eat properly those things took a back seat and the weight began to come back on and I'll be the first to tell you I was like look at my fingers I have no regrets I enjoy each and every piece of candy every single chip every single soda everything I enjoyed each and every part of it I enjoyed each of it and so what happened was I you know I just fell off. I just didn't care about it anymore until it started taking a toll on my body. It started taking a toll on my body and I just was waking up with aches and pains. It was a little more cumbersome for me to get around and I just wasn't feeling like myself anymore. And I think what happened was, uh, you know, just in these last couple of weeks, I was like, you know, this has to stop. I have to get back to, I miss feeling energetic. I miss feeling good. I miss feeling well. And that's what it boiled down to. I just didn't have a sense of wellness. And I wanted to get beyond that. And so I was uh, reconnecting with an old friend who I met. Her name is Ann Say. And uh, she reached out to me and she was telling me about the Optiva Pro, Optavia program. And, you know, it sounded like something that I would be interested in. I wanted the accountability. I wanted to, to be able to do something different 
to see if I would have a different result. Because sometimes, you know, when you're doing the same thing over and expecting a different result, you don't get it. So I, uh, you know, had her send me the uh, information. I uh, pre-ordered my box of food and um, got all the literature. And um, I must say, it was overwhelming. You know, and that's just being transparent. It was overwhelming to get this big box of all different types of foods and trying to figure out, okay, the huge books, the, te the textbooks that came with the, the program are big. And I was like, wow, this is a lot to read. This is a lot of information. And, you know, in our society now, we want those things that are quick and fast and easy. And, um... You know, I said, okay, I may have to do a little work on this. So, like I said, I started the program this morning. I didn't want to come on first thing in the morning because, you know, you're all gung-ho and happy. I was like, let me see how this first day goes. So, as I'm coming to the close of this day, of this first day, I can uh, speak a little bit about what my experience has been so far. But let me tell you where I'm at. I uh, jumped on the scale this morning. And I uh, am 238.8 pounds. And so I've gained back almost 40 pounds of the weight that I had lost uh, just last year. So um, I did my waist. My waist is at um, 51 inches. My hips, which are really non-existent, <laughs> they take up more, more of the, the weight in my stomach. Uh, around my my hips and that's at 48 inches and so those are my measurements for now uh, I'm going to of course post a picture so that you can see my before and um, just going to move through the journey from here now I um, tasted some of the items that uh, Optavia offers and um, I think I started with the red berry crunchios and that's like a cereal. It's almost like looks like almost like a Cheerio. And I was like, okay, it's morning. I wasn't sure if I could have milk or not because I hadn't read far enough like I needed to. I planned on doing all of that yesterday and it didn't happen. You know, I was eating like it was Fat Tuesday because I knew I was going to be starting this program today. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I had a, had a, you know, an adult beverage and pretty much that ended the night for me. So I didn't uh, do the planning and things that I had anticipated doing the night before. So, you know, I knew I had some time before I had to eat my first lean green meal. And I'm on the four and two program. And um, like I said, so I started out the morning with the red berry crunchios and they were not as delicious as I thought they were. They tasted a little grainy. I had some water. I knew I had to drink eight, eight glasses of water. So I said, okay, I'll have some water with these uh, red berry crunchios. Just had a little bit more of a gritty taste to them. So I was like, mm, they're not my favorite, but at least I know that I can exchange some of the items that are in my, um, are in my package. I can change some of those items out. And so that may be one of the things that I change out. Um, so I had that first thing in the morning, and that was interesting because you have to eat within uh, the first 30 minutes to an hour after you wake up. And so usually I'm like, eh, I'm not really that hungry, but, you know, if, it, if it's going to help to increase my metabolism, I'm going to eat. So I ate those, and um, you're supposed to have a fueling every uh, two and a half to three hours. And, um, you know, so far I've had, uh, one, two, three, three fuelings. I'm getting ready to come up on my fourth and I have one, uh, lean and green meal so far. And I had to kind of improvise with that because I was out shopping and, you know, I had to make sure that I was, you know, had the, the meal available and I had to swap. The lean and green for one of the uh, feelings that I had because I was out in the street and I didn't, you know, I wasn't home to prepare the meal and I didn't have it prepared. So I said, well, let me just take one of the feelings and then I'll 
when I get home, I'll make the lean and green meal. And that's what I did and it worked. But I definitely understand that what's going to be important for me in being successful in this program is having the meals prepared because I never know what's going to happen. I was home and I was getting ready to prepare my lean and green meal and my um, stepdaughter I had a flat tire, so I had to run out and go and, uh, you know, assist her with that. And so it kind of ran my time back. And so it's going to just be important to make sure that you have those little fuelings, that you have them with you, that you carry them in your purse or in your in your attache case or suitcase or whatever it is that you carry with you during the day. So that, that way, in those emergent uh, situations where you have to swap the meal for the fueling, you can go ahead and do that. So that's something that I'm learning just in day one. You know, I'm drinking the water. A lot of it is setting your intentions on being successful. And that's what I plan on doing, uh, you know, in this particular program. You know, you when you, you know, add finances to anything, anytime you add finances to something, you have what's called skin in the game. And that's what a lot of people um, talk about. If you have skin in the game and you've invested in it and, and, and you, you know, you've added some monetary value to it, then you start saying, okay, this is something that's important. This is something that uh, I've invested in. And so I'm going to take the necessary steps to make sure that I'm successful. And so, so far it's been good. Some of the other um, items that I've had to eat today have still had a little bit of that grainy taste, but I'll tell you what, it's moving whatever was in my body out. <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that. It, it definitely it seems to have some type of fiber base. And so things are moving uh, through me uh, and keeping me regular. And uh, I'm pretty regular anyway, but... I've noticed that it's moving things through my body and, and I'm starting to feel a little better already. I'm not feeling as sluggish and as tired as uh, I typically would be at this time during the day. So, you know, this is going to be uh, a journey. Like I said, it's, it definitely is going to be a journey. It's not going to be a sprint. It's going to um, have some of its challenges, but the biggest thing that I'm going to do before I lay my head on my pillow tonight is to make sure that I have those meals prepared. I start back to work tomorrow, and so I want to make sure that those meals are accessible and available. And as long as they're there, I think that I'll do fine in the program. So I look forward to sharing my journey with you all. I look forward to the days to come. I look forward to sharing and reporting on my wins and, and the things that have been challenging to me. But right off the bat, preparation is going to be key and timing is going to be key. I set my alarm so that every two and a half hours it will go off so that I would remember to have the, have the meals that I'm scheduled to have. I must say it's a lot of food. I don't typically eat this much and so that's the part it's like oh you know I have to go and eat again but they're filling and you know I guess I think that they're going to um, definitely help me in in getting my metabolism going because sometimes I only eat one big meal possibly two meals a day and that's not healthy either so this is teaching me and conditioning me to eat various meals during the course of the day and I think that that's going to you know kickstart my metabolism and that's going to be huge in the weight loss that I'm going to see so I'm giving you more information probably than you care to know but it's important that um you know I'm, I'm transparent with what's going on with this journey and we'll just see in the days to come how successful this Optavia program is going to be for me. But it's for my listeners as well because, like I said, this is part of the wellness journey. And for me, it's all about realigning and making sure that we're aligning ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. So this has to do with my body, but it also has to do with my mind and my mindset. How much do I want this 
and 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 what is the you know what is it that I'm willing to do to get to that space of optimal health so that's all for now and I look forward to sharing this journey with you all again pictures will come and we'll continue to watch those numbers dwindle down so until I see you the next time I say peace